Hi, this is Bill Pitcher with a Flickr quick tip from the Empire Building Network. So one of the things that uh, I enjoy doing is to keep track of where I've taken uh, many of my photographs. And fortunately, Flickr provides an ability to uh, geotag, in other words, to uh, indicate on a map uh, where you took a particular photograph. So let's take a look at that. If I click on uh, this most recent photo of uh, me here taking a photo, you'll see that uh, there's a map here and that uh, it shows that uh, somewhere there in the Golden Horseshoe I took a photo. And if I put my um, uh, cursor over the map, you see that it shows that uh, um, it was uh, in the vicinity of Toronto, and it's the Toronto Zoo in Scarborough, so that's right. And then if I actually put my cursor more closer to the dot, you'll actually see that uh, you can see the Rouge Valley, and uh, underneath the, the hand there it says Metro Toronto Zoo. And that's where I, I took that. And if I click that, it can show me a, a more close-up of, of that, and I can actually see I've put it... Um, uh, right where that carousel now is uh, at the zoo. And if I go to a uh, shot where I've not done this, you'll see that it says here, add this photo to your map, and I have not uh, added it yet, so we'll do that now. And uh, I simply click that. And one of the great things is it will remember where your last photo was, so um, it's actually right here at the entrance. But let's say that uh, as we just back out that, um, you know, it was over here uh, near the Dawn Valley, um, I can simply, you know, as I would with uh, most common maps, um, scroll over until I find the area that I'm looking for. And here's the zoo. And I just continue to get closer and closer. I like to switch um, for some of my shots to this hybrid view because I get more detail. And when I can, I like to um, try to place it more exactly. This is about where the carousel is now. So I put that in there, and it gives me some options. Um, you know, does it want to be specific? This is in the Rouge Valley, so I'm good with that. But, uh, you know, if I were off a bit, it gives me other choices. Uh, who can see it? I click uh, Save, and then I can close this. And now I've got that same mapping system here. So that's the first thing, and, and one of the benefits of doing that is it allows other people to see where your photo was taken, and I enjoy when other people geotag their photos um, when, you know, if it's the uh, Empire State Building, I, I don't need it geotagged. But uh, if it's some beautiful cliff somewhere, I you know, I'm interested in knowing uh, where they were. And geotagging really... Uh, uh, you know, makes that easy for me to see. Now there's another function. If I go back to my photo stream, you notice in the, um, the options underneath your photo stream that one of the options is map. And if I click map, um, you'll see it brings up a uh, big map. Um, and it's a little bit bigger on my screen than uh, on, on yours right now. But you can see I've got these multiple locations, these uh, pink dots of... Um, where uh, I've taken pictures. And these are all pictures that I have um, geotagged. And if I scroll up, you'll see that um, here is a uh, um, sort of a, a scroll, a sideways scroll of uh, pictures that I've taken. And if I click on one, um, it will uh, show it there. This is the Hindu temple on uh, Highway 427 near Finch in Toronto. And if we look up here, we can see that it's actually highlighted um, that particular photo right here. So, you know, I can look down and see a photo, click on it, and find out where it is on the map. Conversely, if I close that, I can say, what is this photo way up here? Click on that photo, and let me see if I can get over there for you. Um, let me try another one. Oh, now I've done a number on my screen. Okay, I'll try that again. So I'm going to click on this photo here. And that's the carousel. And if I click on... Okay, so I click on a photo there. 
and you'll see that it brought up um, these monkeys at the zoo. So there are multiple um, shots that I've taken at the zoo. It's one spot where I've taken more than any. So each time I click on this, it will bring up a, a different shot from, from the zoo. So now it's going through the different macaques that I've taken there. Um, and if you had a, a photo off by itself, um, here's one that's in Mount Elgin all by itself that I just clicked on, and it brings up... Um, the Stokely family, some of my ancestors from many years ago um, for me to see. So uh, if you're somebody that travels and takes photos all over, uh, this is a great way to uh, sort of take a look at, uh, at what you have and, um, you know, is a great thing for uh, others to be able to share with others as well, for them to be able to see where you were and what photos you've taken. A, a great way to organize your photos um, beyond sets and collections that uh, exist. I encourage you to check this out. Anyway, that's it for now uh, with another quick tip on Flickr. This is Bill Pitcher. Thanks a lot.